I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. Hey, welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra. Thank you again for joining me since Drake is, is still gone. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. I enjoyed having you. The things that we're going to talk about today on the Chill Spot, um, some things you may agree with, but some things you may not. But this is some pointers about things that a leader should try to say every day or at least think yes. about. Okay. And the first one is, what is the situation? Let your team know what the situation is, whether it's good, whether it's bad. By keeping everything to yourself, it could bring down the team's morale. So you want to try to do best on communicating that. And the second is, here's the plan. Have a plan and you need to stay with it. Be able to make decisions and stand behind them. I think with us doing the leadership team at the Veterans yes, Home, yes. I think this is something that we struggle yes, with. Yes, a lot. We need to, to work better on that. So maybe the rest of the team is watching us today yes. and they can pick up some of these pointers. Okay, and um, what do you need? This is very critical. Mm -hmm. They need to know you care on a personal and professional level mm -hmm. and make sure they know you want them to succeed. If they feel they are unable to succeed, you want them to know how you can help. Right. Let them know, you know, mm -hmm. what do you need me to do? Is there anything? Go talk to the DON, the administrator. Mm -hmm. I Don't just quit your job. Yeah, that's you know. very important. Make yes. sure you know how you can help them and what you what they need to do to succeed. Yes, and also, we want, you know, we want them to tell us, you know, let us know what you want. You know, we want to hear from you. Exactly. Invite them to share their mm -hmm. ideas and opinions, you know, their insights. Because it doesn't matter if you've been there a week, two weeks, a month. You matter, you know, come to us. Right, if exactly. The, we need to fix the situations, you know, because we're having a lot of people leaving caregiving because it's just a lot of conflict and stuff. Mm -hmm. So Sometimes yes. a new set of eyes is the best thing for Exactly, for yes, team. and that's been helping us a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what would you say if I said, tell me? Well, I would just tell you that, you know, I think, I think some of our people that's been there the longest, they think that they're above everyone. Mm -hmm. So I think you should all just come down to the level right. of a new CNA, mm -hmm. you know, and let them know that I started, you know, I was here before, you know, mm -hmm. it's not, you know, it's easy to, it, the job is not, it's not hard, but you have to be passionate. You know, you have right. to be there for the residents. Right. You can be there for money, but that's not good, you mm -hmm. know, so, but you was there before you was a new CNA. So you want them to know, right. you know, it's not an easy job. It's just, you know. I agree with that totally. Um, and you also need to remember um, values. Um, you cannot stare over everyone's shoulder. Exactly. Hey, Sandra, you're doing this or you're doing that. Um, you can remind them to make good choices and decisions. But you also need to let them know that these choices and decisions that they're choosing, they yes. need to be able to stand behind them and make sure that um, they can live by them and be very yes. proud of them as That's well. Right. Yes. So we will go over the next four on the next episode of The Chill Spot. So please come back and join us. And remember, you matter.